Hi, I'm Matt McMurray from Campus Automotive in Blacksburg, Virginia, and today we've got an oldie but a goodie, a tire that a lot of you have been asking about, the Michelin LTX AT2. If you're new to Campus Automotive, we do tire comparisons, tire reviews, and lots of tire talk. So subscribe and hit the bell to keep up. The Michelin LTX AT2 is a tire that a lot of you guys asked about in the comments of my other videos. I never really included this tire in any of my comparisons because I assumed that Michelin was working on a new tire to replace this one. It's been around a long time without any kind of redesign. It's the only all-terrain tire that Michelin makes. I personally own three sets of these tires. One on a 2004 Ford Explorer that my wife and I had when we first got married. Another set on a 2007 Dodge Ram 1500. I had an aftermarket set of wheels on and a set on a 2015 Silverado 3500 HD Duramax that came OE on that truck. So I got 70,000 miles on the set on the Explorer, 50,000 on the Silverado, and never wore out the set on the Ram since I had two sets of wheels. In each case, the tire outperformed the treadwear warranty, which was highly unusual on four-wheel drive vehicles. The AT2s I own proved to be extremely reliable, even when towing a heavy fifth wheel and driving off-road. They felt very durable, stable, comfortable, and quiet. I also thought they performed very well in the snow, especially when they were new. The Michelin LTX AT2 are original equipment on Toyota Tundra, TRD Off-Road, and TRD Pro, as well as many Ford Super Duties. I think it competes directly with the Continental Terrain Contact AT, Goodyear All-Terrain Adventure, and the General Grabber APT. The first thing we notice that this is an AT tire, but we can see that the tread blocks aren't very far apart. They're very spaced, very close together. That's going to give you the good ride on the highway. You also notice that there's not a lot of siping in this tire at all. Very limited siping. Of these sipes that are available, these tires are about halfway worn out these sipes go away. That's one of the bad things about this tire because when it's new, it's great in the snow and in the rain, but as it wears out, it gets hard and you lose these sipes and it's kind of worthless, but it wears forever, it lasts a long time. These tread blocks, all these tread blocks, there are tons of biting edges on them, but they're not very aggressive. And I guess they want to keep the noise down because this is an OE tire, but again, this is Michelin's only AT tire, and I guess they focused their main AT and off-road tire line to the BF Goodrich line, which makes perfect sense. So if you get this on a F250 or a F350, they're looking for a certain look to it. But what you'll notice is, you know, these tread blocks, they don't extend into the sidewall very much like a lot of tires do in the AT category. It's very clean on the side, not much going on at all on the side. No protection for scrubbing or anything like that from these tread blocks at all. There's no rim protector, no three peak. It is available in white letters, which we can see on the other side. But for the most part, it's just a more of an on-road type tire, similar to a little bit less aggressive than the Continental Terrain Contact AT, which I'm pretty fond of. More like a General Grabber APT, even though the APT is three peak snowflake rated in this sitting. There's just not much going on as far as features in this tire, other than it being a Michelin, it's going to balance out good. You're going to not, you're not going to have hardly any weights on this tire like you would some of the Nittos and Toyos and stuff like that. So it's going to be smooth. It's very quiet compared to its competition, but that's pretty much it as far as features and, and benefits on this tire. So one of the things that Michelin are known for is a special compound built into the tire that as it gets warm and it heats and cools, this compound sort of permeates the rubber to keep it from dry rotting. That's why when you see a car or a truck with Michelins on it and you see the tires are dry rotted because usually they're not driving a lot of miles on the tire. But if you are driving a lot of miles on the tire, that compound permeates through the rubber and keeps it from dry rotting. It also keeps it, you'll notice that Michelins always look black. Unless you just straight up run them through the mud, most of the time they always look black. So. There's never a ring, a light colored ring around them or anything like that on the sidewall. They just always stay black and they, they always look good. So this tire comes in many sizes for just about every truck and SUV. This tire is a 285 70 10-ply. The Michelin LTX AT2 is one of the higher priced tires on the market. This tire retails for about $299. This would be a great tire for someone who puts a lot of miles in their truck or SUV and only drives off-road occasionally. So on the scale of try it, watch it, or trash it, I give it a try. So drop your comments or questions in the comment section below. And if there's any other tires that you'd like to see, let me know. As always, if you like what you saw, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a great day.